this is show number one. Today we're filming in Manhattan. We're shooting right here at Nurture New York, and you can find out about that at nurturenewyork.com. And we're grateful to be here. Today our show has to do with muscle testing, kinesiology, and quantum physics. So, quantum physics. Okay, quantum physics. Now, many of you may know about quantum physics, many of you may not. Muscle testing and kinesiology have to do with the linear and the nonlinear domain. Okay, we have nonlinear and we have linear. Now, I was recently on a flight talking next to a gentleman who is a biochemist and a scientist. He, science has to do with the linear domain, it has to do with cause and effect. It has to do with something being provable or not provable. The nonlinear domain has to do with things that aren't provable through regular science. There are some things that have to be experienced. Now, in the linear domain, this has to do with proving something, math, science, and reasoning. Nonlinear has to do with subjective experience like love, or say spirit, or a higher power. Quantum physics is now showing us that everything is connected to everything. The linear domain of science tries to break things down into little particles and pieces and prove what works and prove what doesn't work. Also, sometimes this linear domain is appropriate and sometimes it's not appropriate. Sometimes if you see a practitioner and they're doing an assessment of an injury, let's say you injure your shoulder, they're going to put your shoulder in different positions to check what's wrong with your shoulder for an assessment and treatment plan. That's appropriate. That has to do with the linear domain. The nonlinear domain has to do with something that's all encompassing of all of nature. A lot of people still don't understand what does this linear and nonlinear thing have to do with muscle testing. Well, it's because that thanks to the principles of quantum physics, when we're doing muscle testing or kinesiology, Sometimes we're working in the linear domain, and sometimes we're working in the nonlinear domain. It depends totally upon the question that we are asking. So the answer that one is going to get when doing muscle testing and kinesiology has to do with the question that one is asking. From quantum physics, that's called the Heisenberg principle. It has to do with the observer. Thanks to quantum physics, the observer is now a part of the experiment. So whatever one's intention is, when one asks a question, has to do with the outcome or the result that one is going to get. So to have an experience of the nonlinear, if people, people can usually understand something like, let's talk about uh, the temperature outside. Okay, the temperature is something that you can measure. Okay, is it 80 degrees? Is it 90 degrees? Is it 50 degrees? How cold is it? What is the temperature of something? That's linear. Nonlinear is what is your experience. Because if you take somebody from Florida and you put them in something that's, oh, 50 degrees, they have a sweater on, they have a coat on. Their experience is that, ooh, it's chilly. If you take someone from New York, for example, and all of a sudden it's 50 degrees in January, we're like, woo, it's great, it's warm outside, we're having a warm day. So subjective experience has to do with this domain. So we're going to be continuing to give you some tips and understandings here at MuscleTestingTV.com because many people want to know about muscle testing and kinesiology. And one of the ways that you can begin to practice muscle testing and kinesiology at home is not only to use the tips that we have here, not only to use our home study course from HowToMuscleTest.com or from our tips here at our blog, or maybe you've attended one of our live workshops and seminars, but it's also really important to have a, an understanding of what you're doing, otherwise it's really easy to make a mistake. So anyway, that's probably enough for today for our first show. And every show we have, we want to ask a question. So our question for this week is, what do you want to know? What do you want to know about muscle testing and kinesiology? Because MuscleTestingTV.com is the world's most passionate show about muscle testing and kinesiology. My intention 
is to educate and inspire you to be able to use, start to use, muscle testing and kinesiology on a regular daily basis in your life to help you improve your life. And also, if you're a practitioner, you can start to use this in your practice to help benefit your patients. And also, if you go to see another practitioner, you want to try to find a practitioner who uses muscle testing and kinesiology in their practice because it takes the unknown and narrows it to a probability to a possibility. Thanks a lot. I'm Dr. Andrew Collier, and we'll see you next time.